Uh, Paul Wilders, uh, you're the brother of uh, Gert Wilders. Uh, thank you uh, very much um, for being with us. Um, first question, if I may, could you tell us um, what your brother was like as a person uh, when he was growing up? Well, first of all, he is the youngest of us, and uh, therefore he has been a little spoiled, a little spoiled brat. As often is the case when some, someone, a child, arrives far later than the others. So uh, he wasn't the, the easiest of, ch of children. And uh, he lived like uh, most young guys do, having friends, uh, causing havoc at, at times, like I did when I was his age. And, uh, well, enjoying life most of the times, having beer, chasing girls, making music, <laughs> well, sort of. And uh, up till his 18th birthday, when he left for Israel. And what was he doing there? Well, as I recall first, and foremost, he wanted to go to Australia, but his savings didn't allow that, so he had to ch pick another destination. And it became Israel. I do believe he did spend his savings in within a week, so he was, had no other choice than looking for a job. And near to the Jordan border, he experienced the tension between uh, Israel and Jordan at the time, tension between people, and uh, he became a, a fierce uh, Israel lover. After he returned, he went to work for uh, a social service, I believe, experienced uh, that there was a lot of bu bureaucracy, and uh, from that moment on, he decided, I really do want to make a difference. We discussed for hours which party he would pick uh, to join politics, and in the end, he uh, picked uh, the VVD, the liberals over here, and no, no way, no conviction, no, no belief or whatever, in my point of view. And when did he start expressing these views about Islam? I mean, you mentioned the trip to Israel, but also you clearly had debates with him as, as, as his brother, talking politics. When did you notice this shift uh, if I could put it like that, that uh, your brother really uh, was tough on Islam? He saw a gap, politically. He was a fierce opponent of Turkey at that moment. And he jumped into that gap with quite a lot of success. But I would say it's the identity, stupid. It's not merely populism, no. It's far more than that, and he has been the person in the Netherlands who stood up in a way quite extreme, uh, providing easy solutions for difficult problems that people were looking for. And what kind of price have you as a family paid? I mean, your brother can't go anywhere without security. What kind of price have you all had to pay for this with having the name that you do in this country? Well, speaking for myself, what, I did speak up before the election, last elections. I was fully aware that would have consequences and it in fact did. My family has been threatened, I have been threatened. Uh, my life was at stake at moments. I've been bullied, uh, 
I got phone calls all the time, not not at pleasant ones. Uh, so for me, it did have an impact. Well, my brother uh, uh, published Fitna. My uh, uh, family, my son, and my uh, and his mother uh, were safe housed. I didn't. <laughs> I, I'm, st I'm a stubborn man, just like my brother. I parked my car uh, three streets away and waited in, the, in my house. You're not scared of anything? No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. But it, it comes with a price for the things that your brother's saying and the policies that he's advocating. Do you still love your brother? Very much. It's, that's a common mistake. People tend to... Uh, fail to make a distinction between a, a man and his ideas. I can do so. My brother can't, but I can do so. I can love my brother, and I, st I always will. Blood is thicker than water. I, it is, it's my brother. But at the same time, I can despise the ideas he stands for. And that's the way uh, I handle it. I handle it. My brother doesn't. He, uh, you're either in or out. You're with him or you're against him. He doesn't make that distinction. When was the last time you and your family saw your brother, you all together as a family? When was the last time and what were you doing? All together? Well, my mother's birthday, that was the last time. And afterwards, we did have contact but merely uh, apping, texting, and so forth. Until I spoke up last December. After that, he did cut me off. And that's the same distinction I try to explain. How did you feel when he cut you off? I mean, if I never spoke to my brother for months on end, I'd probably feel somewhat unhappy about that. Uh, I took, took into account it could happen knowing the way he is. I sincerely did hope it didn't turn out that way. So I'm not happy with it, but it's not, it's not up to me to uh, decide for him. Do you miss him? Of course I do. Well, if, if he was to walk into the room now uh, and you had the opportunity to you know, just say one thing to him, what would that be? What would you like to say to your brother? Welcome. I would hug him if he if he would allow me to. I think he might not. No. So he clearly he puts his beliefs over his own his own family. Mm, he can't make the distinction between the man, the brother, and the ideas. With your brother's rise in the polls and his increased popularity, do you get a sense? that the Netherlands, which has always been seen by people abroad as a very liberal country, is uh, losing its moral compass? Well, a few centuries ago, we were quite able to uh, handle uh, foreigners. We had uh, Jews fleeing from uh, Spain at the time, and they incorporated in our society very well, no problem at all. This has changed. We could do the same. Maybe we as a society, including governments, did make mistakes in uh, adopting them socially as well. I think that's, that's a fact. But we could once. And at this very moment, it seems lost. All that seems lost. Then again, I'm uh, really sure that in time, and I'm speaking perhaps a decade from now, but things will turn for the better. This will not last. And do you think your brother's popularity will last? Or do you think he'll fade away? In case he will become prime minister or participate in any form of coalition, He'll have to live up 
to expectations and those are very high in the meanwhile and I'm pretty sure he knows he can't for obvious reasons all most of the things he does propose are that extreme laws will have to be changed well, over here and in the Netherlands that will take years and years and years and even so it's not being said they will pass at all if he has to compromise in any way because he's promising quite a lot a coalition in this country doesn't allow that to happen so we will disappoint his followers, his voters as well. He can't afford that. So in the end, whatever the outcome of the elections, I do believe he will take the first way out, blaming others.